you know, obviously one of the, you know, one of the many sad parts of, of this past year is, you know, a lot of young, ambitious, talented prospects um, getting cut short um, and, and not having that year of development, you know, just thinking in, in my own shoes, you know, if, if you would have taken me out of my A ball double A and said, you don't have a season this year, um, you know, that's, that's difficult. Um, but everyone in the industry is also dealing with that. Every team's had to deal with that. Um, so we've tried to make the most out of it from, you know, doing the zoom things to the, you know, our player development staff, um, trying to create as much, um, you know, development from afar as possible. Um, but that is one of the challenges for the industry moving forward is getting those guys and making up for, for some lost time and some of that experience, obviously you gain in a minor league season. Um, I would say there's from a depth standpoint, there's still a ton of guys that, that we remain excited about that, um, um, that certainly could factor in, in that second layer, um, you know, when, when inevitably you have some injuries, obviously you're going to bring in, you know, minor league free agents and stuff with, with, with big league experience that, that can help you supplement when things do, do go wrong. So those things will continue to flush out too over the next couple of months.